This clip, we're going to talk about significant figures. But before we go into the maths, I thought it'd be worthy of looking at the word significant. So I had a little look in the dictionary and I found a couple of definitions, one of which being important to be worthy and sufficiently great. So if we apply this to an example of, say, 4,683 and ask ourselves which is the most significant figure. Well, if I ask you to choose one of these digits and that's the sum of money which I would give you, certainly most of you would probably go for this one because that would represent 4,000, as in 4,000 pounds. That is the most significant figure. This is the figure which means the most. Now, if we are asked to round our original number of 4,683 to one significant figure, that means we would have to have one digit here and everything else would be zero. It would be very easy to just put the four there and zeros, giving us 4,000 and ignoring all of this. But you cannot do that because this also has some significance. Now, my little trick is to actually put a little bit of a dotted line in between these figures here. And the rule is, I then look at this digit here. If it is five or more, a five or more, then this has an effect on this number here. We then need to round this up to a five. And everything else is then zero. So my answer to 4,683 rounded to one significant figure is 5,000. I have my one significant figure there and everything else is zero. So what if we took our original figure and I was asked to round it to two significant figures? And that's the notation for it. Well, I apply the same theory before, but this time my little dotted line, and this is my own little invention, goes here. Therefore, I've got two digits here, but I cannot just ignore this. The eight means that I have an effect, or the eight has an effect on the six. So that becomes one greater. So rounded to two significant figures is four, seven, zero, zero, 4,700. Let's take another example of a smaller number of 538. But this time I'm gonna round it to one significant figure. So this time, I'm going to apply my little dotted line. This digit, I ask myself, is this a five or more? Well, this actually is less. So this has no effect on this whatsoever. So my rounded one significant to one significant figure is actually 500 to one significant figure. The same can be applied to decimals. So let's take 0 0.047 rounded to one significant figure. Well, this time my dotted line would go here. The seven, obviously greater than five, has an effect on the four. So to one significant figure, this would be 0 0.05. I hope that helps.